Hey gang, Sky Pilot here. Uh, no, that can't be good. If you're thinking to yourself, hmm, the new Lava XHD shouldn't really have one of its arms dangling down. But nobody else's fault other than my own. I managed to snap the leg of my Lava XHD, which is a bit of a pity. Let's check out my other videos up on the screen there, guys, of this little unit. All is not lost. As I've got another frame. Do a complete rebuild so we can get flying. Let's hit repair mode. For this job, guys, we're going to need some cutters. Of course, another frame. Screwdrivers. Yeah, magnifying glass. Cable ties. Some soft tape. Needle nose pliers. Cue the music. Let's get building. Oh, we're getting there. Just be careful when you're putting the stack on that you put it on the right way. Uh, and don't tighten the screws up, obviously, until everything is in place. Otherwise, you can't manoeuvre three stacks around. Let's keep going. Okay, there you have it, gang. The stack is on. The canopy is on. And everything is, hopefully, where it is meant to be. Now I just need to put on the motors, tape up the wires, kick on the guts, and <laughs> see how it goes. Let's put these motors on. Make sure you do have the wire going in down the arm guys, otherwise you're not going to have enough length there to attach it. And let me just leave everything up nice and loose for now until I get to the end. Great stuff, there we have it guys, motors on. Just need to tape up the and connect the motors to the near seats. But before I tape up, I will actually fire it up and make sure it actually works as it should. Fingers crossed. Good. Okay, finishing touches. Word of warning, folks. Make sure you put your stack on correctly and you double check where everything belongs. Otherwise, you may find yourself having to remove your stack again and placing your micro SD card slot in the right spot, which is on the right hand side, not the front where I had it. Yeah. Piece of cake, folks, more or less. Now we just need to see if it still works. I have just a little mishap. So, um, battery strap on. I've also cable tied the XT30 to the arm in case it has another mishap. Um, I've rearranged the wires inside of it. Tightened everything up, made sure everything's secure. Double checked everything. Triple checked everything. And we've actually put the VTX button plug here is where you can change the VTX settings on the go so I've actually taped that to the arm there and stuck it at the back here rather than it looping over and coming down the top of the canopy. So what I'll do now is I'm going to plug it in, turn it on, make sure we have VTX and make sure we have lift off. Fingers crossed folks, thanks for sticking it out with me. So far, so good. Okay, here we go.
I hail that a success. The Lava XHD. Got some aftermarket props on here. This is a post frame repair. And I'm just gonna have a bit of a fly and see how she goes. On board recording via the SD card. A little bit of wind here, so I don't expect to be up for too long. And the oval's very wet, so I'm hoping I don't nosedive. Okay, check out the links below guys and the links above for all the info about this Ripper little unit, where to get it from, and how to hook it up to beta flight. Quick bit of line of sight first, just to see how those props sound. They sound and look pretty good.